Thank you very much, Senator Levin. Uh, we'll now proceed to receive the testimony. From Certainly there are indications that along with the professional terrorist groups such as Zarqawi, Ansar al-Islam, al-Qaeda, and others that are operating now in Iraq, that some of this uh, former regime element capacity is cooperating with them. In addition, we have foreign fighters that infiltrate in through various means. As you know, the borders are very long, and uh, despite good efforts by Iraqi and coalition forces, infiltration continues. Uh, most of the infiltration continues to come from Syria into Iraq, although uh, a certain amount also comes from northern Iran into Iraq. Uh, but the, the number of actual foreign fighters that we continue to engage, capture, kill, etc., remains relatively low to the overall insurgent activity we see, which is primarily Iraqi. The, uh, the Shia. But I would say, Senator, that there's no doubt that the nature of the terrorist tactics have changed, and the nature of the insurgency is changing. As they have become uh, unsuccessful in operations against us, they have targeted what they consider to be the key node, which is emerging Iraqi security capacity. So you, you will see a continuing attack profile against Iraqi police, Iraqi leadership, Iraqi Civil Defense Corps units, etc., in a hope that by undermining the emerging Iraqi security capacity, They'll derail the, uh, the, the process of moving towards a uh, Iraqi transitional uh, sovereign authority. Director, how important is it that the transfer of sovereignty have the support of the Iraqi people? 